Today we are going to learn about the invertebrate animals. You all know that the animals are divided into two big groups. The vertebrates that have an internal skeleton formed by bones and the invertebrates that have no bones. Vertebrates are oviparous and we classify them in six big groups sponges, jellyfish, corals, worms, mollusks, echinoderms, and arthropods. The sponges are aquatic animals that are sac shaped and the body is full of pores. It is very easy to remember this group because many times we use them in the shower for our personal hygiene. Yes, many of the sponges we use in the shower are invertebrate animals. The jellyfish are invertebrate animals that live in the ocean. Their bodies are gelatinous and have tentacles. The truth is that when they appear in the beach, it is very annoying because their tentacles have small venomous stingers that produce very unpleasant bites. Corals are tiny marine animals that produce limestone residue, which give rise to beautiful shapes. animal? Exactly, it's a worm. Worms are soft and long invertebrate animals that move by dragging the body in the ground because they have no feet. They can be aquatic or terrestrial. There are some worms that can be harmful and that is why we must be careful with them. Can you see the snail? Well, snails form part of the mollusk group. Mollusks have a soft body without legs and can also be aquatic or terrestrial. Some, like the snail, these clamps and mussels protect the body with shells. But there are other mollusks that don't have a shell to protect themselves like slugs or octopuses. Mollusks are very different from one another, but they also have a lot of things in common. Their body is soft. In some cases, it's protected by a shell. In other cases, they have no shell at all. Mollusks are oviparous animals. This means they hatch from eggs. Mollusks are classified in three groups, gastropods, cephalopods, and bivalve. We, the gastropods, are mollusks and we move thanks to our muscular foot. Did you know that our eyes are on our tentacles? Snails like me belong to the gastropods group. We, the bivalve mollusks, have a shell which closes tightly to protect us from predators. We live in the sea and we are normally attached to rocks or sand. Clams like me belong to the bivalve mollusks group. We, the cephalopods, have no shell, but we have long tentacles. We only live in water. Squids like me belong to the cephalopods group. The majority of mollusks, like squids for example, move swimming. Although there are mollusks, like marine limpets, that live attached on rocks, or razor clams that live on the seabed under the sand. Did you know there are squids that are as high as a five-story building? Amazing! The echinoderms are exclusively aquatic animals. Their bodies have calcareous plates that form a shell. Some echinoderms are balloon-shaped, 
and are covered in spikes that they use to defend themselves, like sea urchins. Others are star-shaped and are of course called starfish. The Arthropods The arthropods are invertebrates, meaning they don't have internal skeletons. They are a vast amount of them, including this dancing crab, these dragonflies, this caterpillar, or even all these tiny ants. The arthropods are very different from each other. Or do you think this butterfly and this shrimp have a similarity? Truth is, they don't look alike at all. But yet all arthropods have common characteristics. Arthropod is a Latin word, which means atro, joints, and podos, feet or legs. The main arthropod characteristic refers to what their name suggests. They all have jointed legs. Another fascinating characteristic that they all have in common is that their body is divided into segments, many of which, though not all, are protected by the external skeleton, which is used as a shield or a shell. Some arthropods' bodies do not grow at the same rate as their exoskeleton, therefore making them shed it for a bigger size, a process known as malting. Arthropods can be either terrestrial or aquatic. The terrestrials, such as this scorpion, breathes through their trachea, whereas the aquatic arthropods, such as these long lobsters, breathe through their gills. Arthropods eat everything. Some are herbivores, such as this little caterpillar. Others, carnivores, like this praying mantis. And others, omnivores, like the wasps, which eat everything. Most arthropods have internal fertilization and are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs to reproduce. Larvas hatch from these eggs and then go through different stages before becoming an adult. The changes is called metamorphosis. As there are so many different types of arthropods, they are classified into four large groups depending on the amount of legs they have. Insects have six legs, such as an ant, flies or those really annoying nets. The arachnids have eight legs, such as spiders or scorpions. Crustaceans have ten legs, like this shrimp or this shy crab. And their myriapods have more than ten legs, and their bodies are elongated, like these caterpillars or these centipedes. <laughs> 